morning. I am getting dressed. Um, we're gonna go on a little walk and get the mail and everything. And then I'm going to show you guys what we are packing for Disneyland. You heard that right. This is packing, Disneyland packing time. Um, so, I'm gonna go ahead and get dressed a little bit. Uh, do a little magic on my, it, it, it's nothing crazy. I'm not doing um, makeup or anything today, cause, cause, yeah. But I am gonna just do my hair in a quick bun so we can go on a walk and then come back in so I can show you guys what we're packing. Let me show you guys how you get a little messy bun going on. But the mail and the kids played outside a little bit and now without further ado let's get into the packing i'm going to show you guys not every single thing that we're taking but i'm going to show you like the main and majority of things so let's get started okay so here is our travel day outfit so the kids are actually out in the living room right now watching toy story um, as far as Michael's outfits, I'm just telling him, you know, wear whatever you want to wear. Um, he, he's not going to wear any Disney outfits like this. Um, he'll probably wear something similar. Like you'll see our other days, I'm going to have him just wear, um, you know, like the color, same color scheme, like in his pro clubs and his shorts, his basketball shorts. Um, but it's pretty much going to be just me and the kids that are really dressing up. So... I could not find a cute Toy Story shirt for myself, so I already had this little crop top um, with all the little Mickey and friends. I think I had got it from, I want to say Kohl's, because they carry Disney stuff. And then I have these, they're kind of wrinkled, I might need to iron them. Um, mom jeans from Target that I'm going to wear with them, they're super comfy. And then the kids are going to be wearing these matching Toy Story shirts. Um, I actually got them from Target. They were $7.99 and they're actually a boy shirt um, but they kind of look like they could go with a girl or a boy so um, I'm not too hot about the colors. Um, I don't know about the, that red. It's kind of like an orange red but it, it looks cute together and I wanted them to have one matching outfit because I've always wanted to have my kids matching and <laughs> I wish they had one for my size but they didn't. Um, and then they both have these kind of darker shorts. Um, these are from Walmart, I believe. And then he already had these like tie-dye looking kind of ones. Um, they're stretchy. They're both stretchy, so that'll be comfy for them in the car. And then I don't really have that many bows that kind of good go with these colors. But I had picked up some of these um, mini bows from the swap meet by our house. And I thought because like Buzz and then the little, there's purple. Um, but I wanted to put something cute and girly in her hair. And then they both have these um, black shoes because I wanted them to have matching colored shoes. So that is going to be our travel day attire. Okay, so here is our Disneyland slash California Adventure outfits. So with starting with mine, I have my sparkly silver ears that I've had for years. And then um, my t-shirt, I got this, um, I think, at Target. And I got a 2X because, I mean, it's still pretty 
small. I mean, I'm usually like an extra large, but I'll sometimes if it's small, if it's a t-shirt, I'll size up. Um, cause I don't like it to be, you know, skin tight. And then when you wash it, they always shrink. Um, so I got that at Target and that was $12.99. And I'm probably just going to pair it with some either bike shorts or leggings. I want to be so, super comfy. Um, and then I'm going to wear my Adidas shoes and I'll probably pair it with this or I'm kind of thinking I might have a fanny pack. I have to go get one, but... I know sometimes the backpacks can get annoying when you're on and off rides and having it on your back and having to take it off. So I don't know. I'm not sure. It's still pretty small. Um, and it's not like it's a big old backpack. So I might just go ahead and use this. But I thought this was super cute. And I knew it was going to go perfect with our outfits because I wanted to go with like the black, white, red, um, gray colors. So I was continuing the color scheme with the kids. So Mila... I'm not sure if I'm going to put her hair in a ponytail and just have her have that in the ponytail. It's a little clip and I got that from um, a swap meet as well. A lady just makes a bunch of really cute Disney um, bows and it's fun to support somebody who makes stuff. Almost 100% positive this is what she's going to wear. I'm kind of on the border of not having her wear this just because the blue, I mean I might get some jeans or some jean shorts to wear. Um, and Michael probably will wear something around this color too, or he might be wearing some gray basketball shorts to match Ezra, but she's the only one that has like a jean outfit, so I'm thinking I might go with something different. And then she has this little white shirt underneath that has these little ruffly, I don't know, I think it's super cute, and I think it'll go cute together. Um, and then she has, I have this bag that she can wear because she loves having purses. I got them these matching shoes. So they each got a pair. I got these from Ross. Um, they have little Mickey Mouses all over it. And they're just Velcro, so it'll be really easy to get them on and off. But aren't these the cutest things? And I was so happy that I was able to get them matching. Again, I love matching my kids. And it's hard to match when you have a girl and a boy. Um, I see moms with two girls or two boys, and I'm like, oh my gosh, that's so cute that you guys can match them. It's really hard to match girls and boys, um, but like I said with the last outfit, you know, I think these are probably boy shoes, but you know what? Who cares? They're still really cute, and you don't can't really honestly tell. And then with Ezra's outfit, he's got this little red Mickey t-shirt, and these shorts didn't come with this, but the pants that came with it are sweats, and they look like this. Um, so I'm going to carry these with us into the park. They have Mickey down the sides. Um, and I'm going to put them underneath in our little basket under our stroller. So when it starts getting cooler in the evening, he can switch from his shorts to his um, little pants. So he stays nice and warm. And then I'm going to be packing everybody a jacket. That is our second outfit for Disneyland and California Adventure. So here is our downtown Disney day outfit. Um, I haven't decided what pants I'm going to wear with this, so either a pair of jeans or some leggings. Um, I've got my, I believe these were like the 50th anniversary um, ears or something like that. I had gotten a couple years back, or actually it's been a few years back now, probably like 10 years ago. Um, but with my stitch shirt, I thought the blue and the blue would look cute together. And then I've got this little romper from Walmart. It was only like five dollars which is super cute yeah, because we're going to Disneyland. yes we are mila's been in here helping me try on outfits um with her little multicolored. i thought the orange would go good with that so that's her outfit and then i thought these kind of looked like pascal from tangled so um this one was seven dollars but look at how big his romper is compared to hers it looks bigger this is a 5T and then this is 12 months and look at this the difference like they're literally the same size almost this is He's usually 12 months, but it seems like Carter's is always running big So he could have probably used a nine months honestly and it it would have been um, Like his perfect size so that's what he's gonna be wearing and what Mila's wearing I'm wearing it doesn't really have a theme This is just for downtown Disney on the third day um, We're gonna go out to lunch and go shopping down there Hold on, Ezra. And um, 
I just wanted something cute to wear. She's gonna wear her hair up and that. We'll take some last minute little photos before we leave. I already don't know what we want to think about leaving because we haven't even got there yet, but that's what our little third day outfit's gonna look like. Okay, for pajamas, this is gonna be, I mean, it doesn't really matter. This could be night one um, and this could be night two. They already have worn these before. Um, they've worn them several times. I got these a while back. We love Disney whether we're at the parks or not. Um, but I went ahead and picked up another set um, at Walmart. They were actually decently priced, but they didn't have anything in Ezra's size. So I had to size up. So they're going to be a little bit big on him. Um, but the best thing is, is he can grow into them. And same with Mila. I went a size up as well. Um, but they were only about like eight bucks each. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. Um, so I got them each couple of pairs of pajamas. I think I might bring maybe another set just in case someone has an accident or something like that. But um, I made sure they were the short sleeve because the kids do not like long sleeve, but with the long pants. So that's what we're going to be wearing, or they're going to be wearing. Me, I'm not wearing anything special, so you don't even need to see it. <laughs> okay, next are their swimsuits. Ezra's had this for a while. If you've seen the Vegas vlog, you know, he that's when we got this at Walmart. Um, it's a zip-up little just bodysuit. It's got Mickey on it, so it's like, okay, you don't need a new suit. <laughs> on the other hand, Mila didn't really need a new suit either, but when I was at Walmart getting everybody's stuff, um, some more, you know, Disney gear, I had seen this, and it was in her size. I couldn't resist. It has a little tutu. She loves frozen so I just had to pick it up um she really didn't need another suit but whatever it's Disney we need some new stuff for Disney huh so here's my bathing suit it's the same old same old um I had gotten this from Walmart I believe yeah it was Walmart for our Vegas trip I love 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 this bathing suit it's so comfy and the bottoms are high-waisted, so that's very flattering. I'm kind of stacking up piles of stuff based on day and person. And oh my gosh, so the stuff in the middle is like Disney. That's just downtown Disney. Um, right here is pajamas and stuff. And then I have our stuff that we're going to wear the day of. I kind of have it sitting over here in my, my messy little desk area because um, we're going to wear that. We're going to put that on the day we leave, which is in a couple days. So I don't want to put it away and lose it and <laughs> not have it prepped. It's already prepped, ready to go. Um, kind of, I just need to tidy everything up. Um, I like packing usually days or week or two before because like I just found out, I tried on Mila's Disney day outfit. It's too big on her. It looks really funky. It looks kind of uncomfortable, the um, little outfit I had planned out for her. So I've set aside some little jean shorts and I changed Ezra to some little jean pants. And I had picked up him some socks, little Mickey socks. Um, I'm going to take it her socks, and I need to get her a different shirt. So, I'm just, <laughs> this is exactly why I pack. Hold on, honey. This is exactly why I pack days before, um, because if you need anything, you can run to the store and still pick it up and have time. I've seen people try to pack, oh my gosh, the day before they go. And it's a mess. So I did lie, I do have some actually cute pajamas <laughs> after all. I have another pair of just my regular t-shirt pajamas that I'm bringing, but for the first night at least I'll look cute. I had, we had got a few things at Costco for our trip and I had seen these and I was like, okay, I have to get them. They had them in like purple and a couple other colors and I was like, okay, I'm just going to grab these. I think they were like $15 and they're a short set super super cute and I got a size bigger I don't know how they fit so hopefully they're not <laughs> extremely big on me um but I thought the cute the color was kind of cute I like it's like a minty blue Mila had gotten into the closet and she started trying to get into the gummies already but I got some Pixar gummies I think these were from either Walmart or Food for Less I had seen those and I was like okay those would be perfect because I got a bunch of snacks and little treats and stuff um like uncrustables and stuff because people are saying right now that the food is really hard to get because you have to order it uh, mobile order it and then you have to wait for a time slot so people are saying it's not worth it so we're gonna just have lunch and snacks in the park with us 
when I was at Ross, I picked up this fan. It hooks up to the um, stroller because I think it's going to be warm. I mean, we're going, it's going to be June 2nd, so I think it's going to be warm. Um, at Costco, I picked up this for 10 bucks, guys. I think that's the best deal I've ever seen. Um, it's also, like, waterproof, too, so the kids can wear it at the um, pool. But also because there's some water rides we might go on. Um, speaking of water, I grabbed some water. Um, these are like little miniature water bottles. Aren't these the cutest little things? Neil already grabbed one. Um, but I don't want to bring any sippy cups in because I don't want to lose any sippy cups. So I'm going to bring those in. And I grabbed some Minnie Mouse hand sanitizer to clip onto the stroller. I got some swim diapers for Ezra for the pool. Mila is potty trained. But I'm thinking about bringing a couple pull-ups and having her wear one when we go on like long rides or long waits because I'm afraid we're going to get to the front of a line of ride and be like, oh my gosh, I have to go pee. And it's like a long walk all the way to the bathroom and she sometimes has accidents if she has to hold it and wait to get to a bathroom. So I think I might put this on her. Um, I don't know. We'll see. I mean, she's completely potty trained and all, but I mean, that would be better than having like a mess or her peeing in line or something. Um, so we'll see about those. <clears throat> then I have this kid's toilet tree bag. It has like little miniature shampoos and their little magic washcloths and some face wipes and stuff. And then I have my toilet tree bag, which has like a little surprise for Mila, some more um, sunscreen for the face, lotion, all that good stuff. Here's some of the snacks I'm going to be taking in, some graham crackers, little cheese cracker things um, and then like I said the Uncrustables and maybe some bags of chips um, just to kind of tie everybody over because I don't know what the food situation is like and I'd rather be safe than sorry especially with the kids <laughs> right now this is what I'm packing it's not even like everything either I have a whole list I made a checklist of stuff that I need to bring guys it is no joke going to Disney with two kids. This is my first this is me our first time going to Disney with two kids. I have all the check marks for each person. Okay, uh, so it's the next day and after I was doing a little bit of packing and such, I realized a couple of things that I wanted to get. I said I was thinking about maybe getting a fanny pack. So at Walmart I found this fanny pack for 13 bucks and it has like the front pouch area a little window for your phone and then it has this big old pouch and there's other zippers inside there's a little back compartment and it came with a black mask and then it has a little holder for your hand sanitizer so i thought that was super cute and it's super like spacious it's got lots of room in it so i think i might use that instead of my backpack because when you're hopping on and off rides, it's kind of annoying having a backpack on and vanity packs are always nice because it's right in front of you and a backpack behind you. You can't really see if someone's trying to take stuff out of it. So I went ahead and grabbed that and then I got a brush because <laughs> I needed a new brush very badly. I've been using the Mila's brush actually. So I grabbed that for like $3. I needed new sunglasses because my other ones were broken. I grabbed some um, Toy Story Band-Aids because, I mean, I cut myself this morning cutting up some strawberries. Now, if you remember, I was having a hard time with Mila's outfit. Her outfit, I did not end up liking it once I put it on her. Um, I didn't like it at all. So, I did get her a couple outfits. It wouldn't be with these shorts. It would be with her jean shorts, but these shorts did come with that shirt. Um, so, I grabbed three different choices because I couldn't decide which one I liked best. So, I got this Minnie Mouse outfit. Um, let's see, I can't remember, it was $10, it came with a skirt, but if I had her wear this, I don't think I'd have her wear the skirt to the park, I would have her wear her jean shorts. This dress, but I think this dress was $4, and I kind of like the, you know, the different shapes, it's black and white, yes, with a pair- Yes, we're going to Disneyland. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought with the, the little bow, red bow, and then with her little shoes, it'll look so cute. Oh my gosh, Ezra's little there making a mess. So, <laughs> Ezra! I'm not done packing it. Michael still needs to pack stuff. Um, I still have like to pack like socks, underwear, and like hairspray, my curling iron, like all that little detailed stuff. Um, and oh, there's a lot more, but. I know, and we still have to get our batteries for this, and we have to yes. unscrew that and put them in before we leave. And because mom got new 
glasses at Walmart, so Ezra broke my mom's glasses. Can you open them back? And then we have to get Yeah, them. Ezra did break my other sunglasses, so I did get new ones. And these, I don't know if I said yes. how much they were. They were $7. Super cute. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a big thumbs up. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.